Hello and welcome to Tech. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to view the attachment which is coming in Power Apps. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. In our previous videos, we discussed about how we can add the attachment control and how we can upload the document inside to that. And now we are going to see how we can see these documents in Power Apps. So this is the one which I added here and this is basically a data table and it is also connected to the same SharePoint list which is employee code, name, date of joining and the image link which I added here which is also stored on the same SharePoint site in a shared drive, in a shared folder. So now the thing is I need to show this whenever the user click on this one either it can show it on this image box here or it can be shown on a different page because the default image control which we have here in power app which is media and the image it can only show as an image here but it may not be able to show the pdf uh, word and excel document so here what we have right now uh, these are the loaded defaults how i have did this here basically i just click on the data table and then i need to select the source for this one which is basically you can select from this drop down i use this employee list um, how we can connect this employee list on the sharepoint i just discussed this about in my previous videos please go and check out that video as well so now coming here um, if i again click here it loads all the data here now two things i need to do the first thing is uh, if i click on the image property and the image property of the image I need to use this one data table dot selected dot image link data table which is this one dot selected means whenever the user click on any of the row image link is basically the column so it will just go to that row and this cell it will extract this information and load it into this image so that it can load it so that it can show the image whereas for the pdf kind of things so what i have done here i just did a small trick i just select this column and here if you see the property of on select I just use this function which is launch data table which is this one dot selected is this row and image link of this cell. So it will just launch means it will actually trigger to open this into a new tab. So now let's run this application how it actually works. If I click run here now if I select any of these on any of the other columns I can see the images here. If I click here I can see this back image. If I click here I can see an excel image. And here I am not able to see because this is not an image, this is a different thing. Maybe this is a PDF one. So if you click here on the mouse over here, you can see the extension which is actually coming up here as power PBI links.pdf and whereas that employee detail.xlsx. So that's why it is not coming up here. If I click on this PDF, then as we have written the launch function, so it is launching it on a new tab. And now I can see this PDF everything smoothly. Whereas for the Excel, how it can be possible. So if I click on the Excel one, then it's opening on a new tab and then it is asking me a message. Do you want to open this into Excel file? If I click on open, then this link is going to open in my Excel of my Microsoft 365 Excel application. So everything is connected now. So that's why it is opening in my Excel workbook, which is directly connecting from SharePoint to my Excel. This is cool and amazing, right? This is the small trick how you can use this function using the launch. You can just launch your PDF and your Excel or Word document in Power Apps in your any browser. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.